Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome to a brand new series here on my channel. This is Mega Aquarium. This is a tourist type tycoon game where you get to build a, an aquarium. Lots of different fish inside, lots of different tanks. Um, get to build up this big tourist attraction. It's a really nice game. I've been playing it for a little bit just to get an idea of the controls and everything. But what I haven't done is actually gone through the tutorial. Um, I've been through it once but I've reinstalled the game since so. We are going to start off from the very beginning. We're going to show you the basics, uh, establish a small aquarium from scratch. So we're going to go straight into the game here. <clears throat> so welcome to Sunnyside. You have been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Before the investors release any funding, they want you to make sure you can handle the basic controls. Uh, complete the objectives on the top right of the screen to prove you know what you're doing. For more information about any objective, simply hover over the info button on the right uh, to the right of it. Good luck. And if we click on close here, we can see what we need to do. So what I'm going to do, we've got no pause button at the moment. If I press space, it usually pauses the game. But because we've got no people, it doesn't do anything. So that's fine. So we have um, hover over a button to show the info for it. We can pan the camera with uh, clicking down right uh, mouse button and moving around. Orbit the camera by clicking down the middle button and moving around there. Zoom the camera by uh, moving in and out uh, with the scroll wheel and return to home. We can press H to return home. So great stuff. You've unlocked your first round of funding for your aquarium. Use the money to get the basic requirements of your aquarium set up. These are covered on the new set of objectives you've just been given. By the way, you need to if you need to review any of these messages, click the button down here on the bottom left. So we can close that. So for this objective, we need to build two basic tanks. We need to attach a basic filter to each of the tanks, attach a basic heater to each of the tanks, um, and then fill up the tanks. So just to show you the GUI here, we have on the top we have the demolish, we can move stuff, we can expand the walls of this place, we can reduce the wall of this place. Uh, we can set build walls which are not these, these are actual kind of walls like this. Uh, and then we can delete them like that. And um, we can get platforms and stairs as well. These are important later on when we have much higher tanks. And then we have the actual tanks here. So these are the, the fish tanks we can get. We have the um, stuff for uh, the functionality of the tanks. So we have the filters and the heaters. Later on we get coolers to get cold water fish. Uh, this one here is the actual fish themselves. This here is the ornaments and stuff we can place inside the tanks. Some of these are functional, like this one gives you more plant life inside the, uh, the tank. Um, which some of the fish need more plant life than others and some of the fish like rocks um, and little rocks to, to dive in and out of and whatever. Um, there's also caves and a few other things as well. And then over here we have things like the food dispensers and the tool stations for repairing the different things. And then here we have the amenities which we don't have anything unlocked yet. These are things like drinks machines, benches, toilets, other stuff like that. Um, and that is it for the left hand side. On the right hand side here we have a bunch of different options that allows us to close and open various different things on the screen. Probably the most important one is this one here, close or windows. Everything you click on has one of these little boxes that comes up and this just allows you to get rid of all of those. If we click on this button here that will get rid of that window there as well. But this will show you what your basic objective is at any one time. And so now on to actually building the tanks. So if we go up to here, we can get a basic tank. This is a two by two tank. And we can just shove it down somewhere. You can see it does need access on all sides of it. So I'm going to place this one down just, um, I suppose, if I turn this around this way, I want that to go about there. And then this one, I want to go on this side here. And then I don't want people going across the back of here. So I'm going to do that. And then on this side, I'm going to put in, do I actually have them? Uh, oh, I don't have a staff room yet. <laughs> oh well. Um, so now we can go to here and we can put a basic filter 
onto each of these and also we can put a basic heater onto each of these there so now it wants us to add some azure gemules whatever it is some of these the blue fish um, and it's just add some to each tank so that's completed the mission but I think we want let's just max these out for now so we've got um, four of them in there and four of them in there and then we want some uh, where are they they are in here we need some or orange pellet dispensers you can see here uh, this animal an animal in this tank needs to be fed uh, orange pellets but we don't currently have any pellet dispensers and I just realized I'm going to need to get rid of that one and so if we go to here again we can get the orange pellet dispenser and for now we can place that in over here just to complete that and we also want tool station just in case any of this stuff breaks down let's add some decorations to the tank we have some sea lettuce we can put one in there one in there but we'll also put a little bit more in with some small rocks and there we go and so hire an aquarist which is a member of staff to you and I um, and we, we've got two different choices here so we have this guy very very fit um, kind of average in the other stats um, he has feeding skill of two and a fixing skill of one now something I've realized in um, playing this in sandbox that these talents actually count massively towards your ending skills if we have a look here if we tooltip over this uh, you can see he has zero um, addition from empathy and minus two from precision with feeding so his um, precision skill is 2 and his empathy skill is 3. If he had 3 in precision then this would actually go up by 2 because he'd have the, uh, an, a flat <clears throat> bonus from uh, precision. And then the fixing he has minus 1 and minus 1. So he's not amazing. And then this guy, a little bit less fit. Um, but then on this one again no real bonuses or anything. Um, but he is on average better than the other guy uh, so we're gonna go with you eventually we will get a fair few um, of these uh, staff he hasn't shown up yet because time has not progressed and now we just click to open there we go there's our member of staff and our first customer well done your basic aquarium is up and running and you have your first guest Whenever a guest arrives, they pay some money to enter. In addition, uh, as they experience your displays, you, they will re uh, reward you with ecology points, which you can use to unlock new animals for your aquarium. And so we will start getting uh, some things as soon as they come over and actually see the fish. You can see she's coming over now. And there we go. We have our first point of eco ecology. So we can start uh, researching this orchid dotty back here. So we're going to do that. Started to research back, we get um, ecology points based on how many fish we have and what those different fish um, how, uh, give us, the bonuses that they give us. And you can see that, that uh, star that just came up here. This is our, uh, call it prestige. And so the more prestigious your aquarium is the more funding you have the more um, fish you have to research and there's all kinds of different things that will uh, increase the more this goes up the more your rank goes up so we've just unlocked the uh, the dotty back so if we go like that we just unlocked the dotty back uh, orchid do uh, dotty back time to buy some for your aquarium so pause the game press space to pause the game expand your floor space so we are going to expand it and what i usually like to do is expand it out that way um did you know you can move animals and stuff between tanks yes i do i will show you that later on um i kind of like to expand off in one direction so we've got the 
the entrance in a corner somewhere. So if I just expand all of this out so we've got a nice big area to play with there. That's cost a quite, a, quite a lot of money but I don't really mind about that. Um, and I will also now get rid of these because they are a little bit redundant. So build a large tank so you can click and drag to get a large tank. So let's come over to the bottom corner here and say we want a 3x3 three three tank instead. So that is build a large tank there. Add a basic heater and filter to your tank. So we can do that with a basic heater and a basic filter. And it still has access to each side of these for the um, uh, re repairing it. And then practice moving a tank. So there's two ways of doing this. We can either click on here, click on the tank and we can move it around. And you can see that these move with it. These are actually attached to the tank. So I'm going to place that back where it was. The other way of doing it is if you, without this tool selected, if you click on the tank itself, you get this information about the tank. So you can see it has two filters attached to it. And then it has this button here. So you click on that and this, you can move it exactly the same as you would uh, with the move tool. And there you go. So that's two ways of moving the tank. And so now uh, add some orchid dotty backs to your new tank. So because the game is paused, we actually have a really good idea, uh, a really good ability to be able to fill up these tanks before any of the people come and see them. Because if the people see, uh, say, fish that aren't happy in their tanks, so uh, I'll, I'll get a good, give you a good idea of this now. Um, if we buy these, I think this will be fine anyway. Um, if we buy lots of these there we go um yep i will walk you through all of this in a minute but we can see we have a problem with this now so we have um a, the water quality isn't good enough for this tank so we're going to have to put another another filter on this tank to be able to uh increase the water quality so that it's high enough for the fish however if your guests come over and see these fish and they're not getting all the requirements that they need, they will give you less prestige and this number will go down. So whilst it's paused, get all of your stuff into the tanks and then unpause the game. So we need another basic filter there and we can put a load of stuff into here, make it look a bit nice. We can't, we've only got two different things we can put in there for now so it doesn't really uh, have that much we can do. So, um, build a tank with at least one half and half chromis. So do we have a half and half chromis? No, it doesn't seem like we do. So we need to research one of those, but we don't have it done yet. So I'm sure that once these guys give me a bit more prestige that'll come along um sufficient water quality sufficient heating sufficient water quality oh do i have it in here ah yes i do right okay so i'm going to build another basic tank here like that so on this i want a Another basic filter there, and a basic heater. Uh, no, I need to move this, say, to over here. Um, and now in this one, pause the game, I want to put one of these, let's shove six of those in. Um, now you've got a few decent fish, you should be able to rank up soon. Um, so this tells us now how to rank up. Um, we are actually there, so this is going to complete as soon as I uh, unpause the game. Uh, but you can see with this one again, the water quality isn't quite good enough. So we need to add another basic filter on. 
and that has taken the water quality right up and we need some more orange pellets um, because this is over here the staff do walk around and feed the fish they do have unlimited range but they only have their speed of walking speed um, so you want to put these food stations around uh, in various different places so that they can be easily got at for the different fish that you've got and we unpause the game there and now you can see rank up and so this shows you prestige rank is now at rank 2 we've done that one so now we've unlocked uh, driftwood caves, combi minis and a staff door so this means we can actually get the uh, staff rooms set up and we also have the ability to research a new fish, the King Demir Sole or whatever it's called. Let's go. Now rank two, you have no more access to more animals. Uh, going to unlock them one at a time and ensure their care requirements are met. So let is, let's start researching that one now. Uh, we need to put some stuff into this cave, into this uh, pool here. So let's put a driftwood in and some small stones and a little bit of sea lettuce why not there we go and so we're getting some prestige now this number will go up and down uh, throughout the game um, and it will it will go up and down day by day in game quite drastically sometimes uh, and if we click on it you can see uh, what rank we are, how much prestige we have and then if we go to guest forts we can see uh, what the guests like, what they are okay about but have no real feelings which is the dash here and then there's minus ones if they see dead fish or um, ill fish or later on I think it's rank 3 if they start seeing all of this we need to hide all of this later on as well so now we're nearly getting up to a stage where we have researched uh, this fish. So I'm going to build another basic tank here. And we're going to put this, say, over here. So we're going to build a big tank there. And of course we need... Aha, there's the fish unlocked. Um, let's go for one of these combi minis. Um, and let's go for two of them. So we've got two combi minis here, a very more expensive option basically, it combines that one and that one into one space. Um, in here we want to put this King Demiosale, Demo Demo Whistle, <laughs> I can't say that. Tell me down in the comments how you pronounce that because I'm going to get it wrong all the time. Um, so this is a wimp, cannot be housed with a bully. Now we don't actually have any bully fish. Um, we do have shoulders here, which are in this tank. So these are size 2, they give us 4 ecology points whenever a guest views it. And it gives us 2 prestige points whenever a guest views it as well. Um, it requires a, a minimum water quality of 55%, requires a um hot water uh, so the tank temperature uh, or uh, warm temperature must be greater than or equal to its tank uh, size so we can place in that into that that gives us a lot of money gives us 500 um and then into this tank again we want to put some of this stuff so that gives us cave um, cave points if we have a look in here gives us cave plus three uh, the small rocks give us filtration power and rocks um, so we can go put a few of those in and then the sea lettuce gives us plant plus one and we don't actually need any of that in there it's just nice for because otherwise we um, well, the, the our customers start complaining that the tanks are too bare so that's all we need in there and we need more orange stuff I think that's fine for them what I may do is get another member of staff here quickly so you can see another member of staff is available um, now although the skills are lower on this 
you can see he's got he's actually got plus one uh, plus two from precision and plus two from memory. And so this is the one from before. So we're actually going to go with Wade here. Wade's going to be our second member of staff. With two members of staff, this little aquarium we've built up here should go really nice and smoothly. What I will do, just for ease, and uh, just for, um, I suppose, aesthetic's sake, I'll put those up there. Give us a nice big space in the middle if we want to expand. And there we go. So now we can get this Arabian bluefin dotty back. We'll get that. And so now we've got a few windows up here. We can click on this to get rid of them all. We don't really need them. Um, up here, this is actually a good time to show you the tools on the right. Um, this one toggles the view rate overlay so you can see uh, how often the, the customers are viewing these. This is a brand new tank, so it's not got up to speed yet. Um, here you can see how many fish are in the tanks. Um, here you can see the total points um, for the ecology and later on the science. Um, here you can see the guests total needs um, which we don't have any at the moment because it's a tutorial. Here you can see toggling the, ta uh, the tasks so these need feeding. Um, here we can see the warnings so I want to keep warnings on. I usually leave that one on. Um, this one reduces the height of any walls that are there. Um, if we've got any windows open here, this organizes them into a proper style. And then this one closes all the windows as we've seen. So let's carry on. Uh, so we've unlocked the... Oh no, we haven't yet. We've still got to do that. So acquire at least one and then meet all the requirements. So we'll pause the game again. We'll grab another basic tank and we will pull that one up like that we will get the basic things there we will fill it up with some nice uh, amenities here there we go and so this is ready for the fish to go into as soon as we've researched them we're about halfway through the research on that. Shouldn't take too much time once these guys are in. What I will do is fast forward the game here. So we're playing at a much higher speed now. And this should allow us to get through pretty quickly on this. And there we go. I will slow it down again. About now. And that should give us... There we go. New animals or not. Uh, okay, so this uh, Arabian blue lined dotty rack is the one we've just got. So we can put in a load of those into that. And now we need to get the yellow tank. You can see how this works, we just go through. And at the moment I'm just building a separate tank for each of them, but we could if we wanted to, to actually put more fish in here. We can put like a, a two size fish in here. Um, but it, for this tutorial, it's just showing you the basics of the game. So again, we're gonna get a basic tank here. I'm gonna put this one, say there. Not gonna worry too much about the positions of them for now. Um, we will fill this with some of the stuff again. Exactly the same as we have. And the sea lettuce. And if we increase the speed again, we'll get these yellow tangs and they're all ready to go in. So there we go. Now this is, uh, this animal eats green pellets and it requires one plant in the tank. Now luckily we do have at least one plant in this tank. So what we can do is just put these straight in, but I'm gonna pause the game because we do have something which is, um, we need to get one of these green pellet dispensers here. So you uh, re rotate with uh, Q and E and you can also move around the screen with uh, with WSAD as well 
So we have a green pellet dispenser there. So all of the requirements for uh, those yellow tangs are met. And we can research our new fish, the black bar soldier fish. And here's the new one. So we need to move this over to there. That's already been researched. We're on fast speed, that's why. Just trying to get through this a little bit quicker now. So we can bring that one in. We can grab two of these. We know the, uh, the drill for all of this now. Get some cave in. Get some plant life in. And get some rocks in. And that, this is now ready for them to go into. So if we come into here, now we have this black bar soldier fish. It is size four. Uh, and it needs a cave. One of your equipment has broken down. Uh, so this happens every so often. Um, let's just get some of them. One of your guests has grown tired. Let's just pause the game for a minute because I missed out on one of those there. That's 16 out of 18. We can't fit another one in. Um, so these do break down after a while. We do have a tool station here though. But what I'm going to do is preemptively stick down another one there and let's give ourselves a little bit more room at the back here and stick down just a couple more at the back. I like to have a, a, a nice redundancy of those. They don't cost too much. You do get quite a bit of money in this game as you're playing along with it. So uh, it doesn't matter too much about overspending on these kind of basic stuff like that. It's better to have more of these than you need than to have one of these break down uh, completely. So it's better to overspend on staff and overspend on the tool stations. And later on the broom cupboards as well for the cleaning up. Um, so we can close that one down, we can close that one down, we can close this one down. You can see those windows do eventually just kind of build up to where you don't need them anymore. Uh, so now in here we actually have our um, first, uh, uh, sorry, our first customer, customer amenities. So we get some benches here, so we can actually sit down next to the tanks and they can see, uh, see what's going on in tanks there while sitting down. Uh, the aquarium is looking great. Your final challenge is to reach a target amount of prestige and maintain it for a period of time. So we need to reach 70. We currently have 78, so that's very good. I'm going to finish putting in these benches around the area here. I have enough tanks. I'm happy with the, the number of tanks we have. So we'll give them some seating around so that they can sit down and watch it. So if we have a look here, we're going up slightly in prestige and this should be absolutely fine. And this is going down at double speed as well. If we slow the game back down, this will go at normal speed, game back up, and this shouldn't take too much time. I really enjoy this game. One of my favorite things about it is actually the music. I love this music. I'm gonna keep this music on throughout the game. I'm pretty sure it's royalty free. If I start getting complaints from YouTube, then I'll turn it off, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to turn it on, uh, leave it on until then. Hope you enjoy this game. Um, so the final challenge, the reward is you win. So this will be the end of this level. And there are 10 levels in total, so far as I know. Uh, we'll try and get through them all. I don't know if we'll get there. Um, I really hope you enjoy this game because I really do enjoy it. Uh, I've been playing this for, well, since last night. And I've got quite far in the sandbox. Um, just playing around with different stuff, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. And yeah, I'm going to show you my findings in this as well. And hopefully we'll get quite far in the actual game itself. And then we'll, we will have a look at the sandbox as well, uh, later on as well. So you built up Sunnyside to be a great, deal, great little aquarium and people have started to take notice. You've received a job offer to run a larger aquarium in the room northwards. You can continue to build here at Sunnyside for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log until you're ready to leave. So we can close that. If we pause the game, we can have a look at the message log and just have a look at what we've been through. See if there's anything left outstanding on this map to do. 
But to be honest, I'm fairly happy about all of this. So I am happy to take the job at Northwoods. And there we go. We have the next level unlocked. So that is where I'm going to leave it today. I really hope you enjoyed this game. I love this game. I'm going to carry on playing it off camera as well uh, in, in the sandbox. And I'll bring you in at various different times for sandbox mode. Um, so thank you very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel. And I will. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.